Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Red World. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and this is not where we left off yesterday, as you can tell. Actually, we've already gone to war with Iran, and they lost <laughs> a lot of guys. They loved attacking, attacking, attacking my line so much. But the reason I didn't show you what happened is because, well, actually, I was trying to record stuff, and it made me a little angry. So I didn't record that, but we are in 2015, almost 2016, and let's talk about some of the focuses. So I asked you guys yesterday whether we should do the Eastern Industry... Uh, Eastern Military Capabilities Focus, or the Eastern Industry, in terms of focuses, so, actually, I've already done some of these focuses, but we did this one, the Eastern Military Capabilities, because there was an equal amount of support, literally an equal amount at the time of this recording, between Eastern Industry and Eastern Military Capabilities, um, military factories should be built in the east of this nation, so I decided, let's just go with this path, just because we already started this, we, we can grab that one later, Western Military Capabilities, military factories should be built in the west of this nation, Weapons production research. Research into production and industrial methods is useless if it isn't direct at military factories and weapons. Uh, we need to do Caspian oil next. The Caspian Sea is rich with oil, and what better time of economic instability to exploit it? And regarding other focuses, I think that's pretty much all I've done. These three, we got the extra research slot as well from the last one down there. Other than that, uh, I guess I did further cooperation. Further cooperation with our allies in the Warsaw Pact would allow more military doctrine sharing. And that's pretty much it. Um... Yeah, I mean, not really much has gone on. We've taken out Iran. I've just gone to war with Pakistan because, it's, and this is very weird, you know that India and Pakistan are pretty much united trying to kill me off. This is a very weird timeline. But I want we need a direct land route into uh, India. So there's nothing else I could do. We already have some soldiers being created from Turkish soldiers. I raised up our conscription level. The Great Lakes Republic has capitulated. We're still making more tanks, more Turkish infantry divisions. Uh, and as someone said in the comments, the U.S. can reunify the factions, take the correct steps. So right now we're left with the Great American Union, as well as the Union of American Peoples, Republics, and such. So it is what it is. And currently, I have sent some subs down here, and as you can see, they're dying. So, but we do have some carriers. So they should do relatively okay here. Help protect ourselves and sink those goddamn dang pieces of garbage enemies. Ooh, and India. Oh my goodness, India is crazy. They love attacking. They love being crazy. Actually, how strong is Pakistan? Because Persia, I mean, you saw they've lost a million manpower. That's pretty much all they could do, so... Yeah, the Pakistan? Not too bad. Not too bad for them, so... Uh, but yeah, they started naval invading. Actually, this they actually owned... What was it? bandar e ba abbas So... It is what it is, so... They still have land down there, whatever. And supplies are actually going to be very, very bad around here. Oh god, I hate supply situations. But we do have five research slot, which is pretty nice. Yeah, our guys are getting a lot more experience. And this is pretty much how, how you had to do it against Persia until they ran out of soldiers, too. Pretty unfortunate, we lost a lot of guys, though, so far. Uh, machine says encryption, uh, and that, that's also because we well, want to build more ships, first of all. But secondly, I've been trying to build a much bigger industry. Much, much bigger industry. It's just not good enough yet. Oh, we lost some ships? Well, we should have some carriers doing something around here. I mean... We have six task forces. Come on, guys. What are you doing? Alexander Nosatov. Three carriers and eight light cruisers. A carrier, two battleships, and seven light cruisers. Oh, and we had an operative get captured down here in the People's Republic of China. That sucks. But we got him. Good. Come on. Sink the ships. Sink the ships. I seriously don't understand. What, 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 what are the carriers? Okay, so what are, they, what are these guys doing? Are you just kind of sitting here? They, they're just like sitting here waiting for the subs to die. Come on, don't let that happen. And we've rearranged a lot of the military stuff. If, if our guys are dying, you know, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about this right now. We've got plenty of guns. Artillery is not looking too bad. Our guys are 40 combat width. We've raised the conscription level up as well. So, base strike will be nice. It is 2016. Happy election year. It's a wild, wild year. And actually, let's grab more research speed. Advanced software. Okay then. And we're on extensive conscription too, by the way, just in case we needed it, so. Uh, very nice. Cancel unlease. Whatever. It is what it is. Oh, hello. Someone's trying to enable invade. Hello. That is different. I was not expecting you guys trying to enable invade, but sure, why not? They invade us, then we try to enable invade them. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Now, these guys linked up. That would be very bad for us. Hey, we actually sunk. Hey, our carriers are actually doing something. Oh, watch out. Machine assisted encryption, very cool. Other comments included uh, do the Tsar Putin route sometime. Yes, I will sometime. 
Sometime. Not sure when. Sometime. Can we actually kill them off here? If we could, that'd be so good. That'd be so good if we could. We actually might be able to. Okay. 2015 artillery. Let's go 2016 artillery next. I mean, these guys, what the oh, They have... There's a lot of artillery in there. Uh, actually, that's not that many... Hold on. I don't understand sometimes the game's templates. Increased oil drilling. Ethiopia legalizes cannabis. Oil drilling in the Caspian Sea has increased exponentially since our last report was compiled, supposedly directly linking to recent government policy to concern the resource extraction. This is excellent news not just for the economy, but also for expanding military. Wonderful. And we also went down this p that pathway. Backhand blow would be nice. Let's go ahead and do some artillery. Why not? We should focus on artillery at the moment. Very, very descript description. And we'll get some more naval stuff as well. We're going to grab some aircraft carrier 2014 naval U cab. That'd be good. Get some more of this. We need way more military factories here. Way, 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 way more. We're doing pretty well in main battle tanks. We'll lower that by 10. Lower this by 10 as well. Actually, we've got so many guns. Look at that. That's so good. Oh, my goodness. 50,000 guns. Lower this by another 10. That'd be good. That'd be fine with me. So we can expand out what we need here. And we still need more rubber. Unfortunate, of course. So now, well, maybe we can't sink as much of enemies, other people's stuff, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, we need more support. Oh, do we really need more support equipment now? Wait, why is that? Well, we're going to be making a lot more very, very, very soon. If we need to lower by another 10, that's fine with me. There we go. That should give us a lot more support equipment to work with. Good. And Pakistan and India are slowly moving up here, but as you can see, I don't really care too much. You guys did a great job, you guys. Don't take too much attrition here. I recommend that. Not too much attrition. Head on over here. Less supply problems. Even though there's not that many supply problems around here anyways. It's really just our allies that suck up a lot of supply, which really, really, really sucks. But eventually we do want to go to war with China and such, so we'll get there eventually. Early automated construction. Let's grab some more rubber as well from our current refineries, because rubber is precious. And you guys, actually, if you guys are up here, I had to put them as a defensive back line back there. Yeah, casualty cells is coming, so they lost a lot of guys. Uh, India, I thought they had over 200 divisions. They've lost a lot of guys. Pakistan has lost quite a few guys. Yeah, calling in our allies wasn't a bad idea. Hello. Oh, no. Please don't show this again. I don't really care about this. Actually, we got spies, so... There you go. I don't even want to keep these guys. I just want to have, like, a regular army. Or just regular dudes. Now, we could probably try to navally invade like we did with the Turks, but do the same thing with India. And it looks like... Oh, well, I got some enemies right here, too, huh? Well, I'll take out these guys first. How about that? Maybe we should get some marine divisions. Probably need some more armored cars to, to take out enemies. That's fine. What are we missing besides... No, we're doing pretty well on everything. What, what are we missing? Anything? Uh, uh, planes. Got plenty of manpower now. Alright, not bad. Maybe more carrier naval bombers. Carrier fighters are okay with me. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Getting more synthetic oil refineries. Anything else around here? Psychological warfare. Suicide pills are nice. Very tasty. Very tasty. They stopped putting stuff in the water, which is very disappointing. Uh, with this guy, he didn't. He has not learned very much. Smoke screen expert, I might as well. So our ships don't get too damaged. Got another ship. Very good. These, I've lost a couple subs already. Uh, I've already upgraded him with a Lancer, as well as Loading Drill Master, so there's that. And are they still attacking? Yeah, they still are. Oh, oh look at that attrition. Oh my goodness, 36%. Good. Ruin the stockpiles. Mahmoud Ali Dorani. Oh, they're out of manpower. Good. They got a lot of divisions, though. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at these Indian divisions. Oh, that's a Pakistani 36% infantry. Even the, um... Yeah, their soldiers are not doing very well right now. Oh, hello! Hello! Who invaded? Hold on, who invaded? Seriously, who invaded? I mean... I'm not opposed to this. The, the Italians... They don't, you know what? The Italians have done a great job sometimes. They can do a real good job sometimes. And we can go right in. And we'll do Red Navy next because we need more dockyards. The, rest, the Soviet Navy needs improvements. Very descriptive. And we're making some nuclear bombs? Oh, we have one made. Nice. Alright, so we're going to Bahrain against Ahmad Reza Pordastan. British Republic referendum. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. And, no, oh, good job, guys. Good job. 
Alright, one, two, three. Come from here and invade down. Hopefully they don't have anyone down there, but I'm sure they probably do. One, two, three. Forty combat with infantry divisions do cost quite a bit. Mumbai. We just need one place to land. That's all we need. Just a single place to land. Um, I guess we could probably attack. Was that Karachi? Is that? No, it's Ahmadabad. 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 I'm, uh, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Land options coming along. More artillery armor. Well, yeah, yeah, why not? Our armor's okay. I'm not even using armor for now just because well, it doesn't make any sense for us to. Because supply is so bad down here. So, actually, we probably get even better logistic companies. So, there we go. How's the rubber coming along? Uh, it's coming. It's coming. Suicide pills. Nice. And we'll be done with intelligence very, very soon. Which will be good. Which will be a very, very, very good thing. More infantry divisions. Thank you. There you go. Hang out around there. Because, I, honestly, the last two nations I really want to take out are China, which is going to take a terrible amount of time. Uh, we're kind of liking them, though. They have so many divisions, so much equipment. A hundred million manpower. Oh, my gosh. And Japan. Well, actually, maybe not Japan. Eh, they're by themselves. Tamogami. They got a lot of manpower. I wonder what conscription level they're on. Oh. Regardless. Um, how are we doing down here? Uh, oh, they lost their port. Oh, god dang it. A bunch of dum-dums, I'll say that. Four days left, that's fine, that's fine. Well, maybe that's not fine, but you know, they'll do okay. Alright, are they done attacking yet? Seems like it. Now, if we, tr we're tried if we try to attack, we probably won't be super successful. Especially over a river. Probably not. Oh! Okay! Do we have air? Do we have g green air? We might. I doubt it. Oh, we do have a little bit of... Eh, I mean, it's kind of... Green... It's technically, yes, it is... We won. Okay, so that's how you do it. You just have to make sure that they get so much attrition that you just kind of ignore them. That sucks for them. But that's great for us. Attrition-wise, 30, 30... You know what? Why even attack? Why? why? Just, just why not? Do I just, just... Yes, hello. Here we go. Localized training centers, and we're done. Great. So we can stop spending civilian factories and spend them on other stuff. Alright, guys. Oh, that's so sad for the Italian soldiers. So sad. Oh, and because we have naval supremacy, um... The Italians showed up first in Mumbai. Okay, then. Okay, why not? But we don't have control? Man, the Italians. I swear, they move fast. Seriously, why can't we build stuff up here? Oh, the Noxalite Uprising controls this. Okay, that makes a little more sense, then. Um. Oh, we're actually trying to. Oh, hmm. You know, that's the case. I'm actually going to send everyone here then. Expand while their bellies exposed completely. Uh, you guys are still up there. You guys are hanging out, having a good time. Uh, I don't mind sending you guys this way too, actually. Hey, I mean, if they don't guard their ports, and the Italians can invade, why can't we? You know, why can't we? Uh, they've lost. Quite a few dudes. Pakistan's lost quite a few dudes as well. They actually might begin pulling out their soldiers, maybe? I kind of doubt we would win here. Uh, maybe we can win, maybe? Okay. Not bad. Just got an alien bid. Ah, 2016 artillery. Ah, oh, what a fun year. Ah, uh, we need everyone there, please. Um, let's go and grab some naval stuff. I and mean, we already have these guys working and doing good stuff for us, so we might as well use them, right? Right. Advanced rubber processing. Great, that fixes our rubber needs for now. Uh, more extraction. Let's go and grab, extract some more stuff. That'll be good. Still building a lot more stuff. Even more civilian factories. Well, let's keep one I, one guy on here all, all the time. So that'd be nice. We don't even have a nuclear reactor belt, so it's just kind of weird why it seems stuff is in the belt already, but whatever. Um... It says you guys could... I kind of doubt you guys could win. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? If we keep them there for now, that's good for us. Because this is going to turn out to be quite nice for us. I would love to send tanks, but it's looking not too good down there. New admirals or old admirals. You get more dockyards, which I like immediately. Focus on subs, destroyers, carriers. A 35% research bonus is nice. I prefer 50%. Let's go with new admirals. New admirals will allow us to truly assess the strategic capabilities of our navy. I think that'd be good. 
Jesus Christ, guys. Where is your equipment? Is it? Did you literally lose everything over here? They must have lost literally everything. I mean, yeah, I know. Peshawar, South Afghanistan, probably not very infrastructurally minded places, but Jesus Christ. I mean, yeah, we're not doing great, but... Hmm. What's attrition for like us? 18% is not good, but we do have logistic companies on our guys, so... Get even more logistic companies, we're going to need them. I did put them on, I believe, our infantry, right? Yes. Yes, that's why I'm doing that. That's good. Yeah, I just don't want to send tanks down here. It's so bad. Oh my god. And the allies are sending in so many guys, too. Oh, hello! Okay, so these guys will end up killing each other. Man, I gotta play as America someday. I probably will start off... No, I don't know. Either with the Great American Republic down here in the south, or the Commonwealth, or Bernie... Joe Namsky person dude up there. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I, I really have no idea. Uh, there's not really much else we can do with physical power, so... Why are you still so sad, Vladimir? You're the, the leader. The 2016 Summer, Summer Olympics. Okay. Cool. When the ILC was engulfed in an intense victory between the Iron Fist and Soviet bloc and the rapidly rising American Republic, the time has come. Jesus Christ, guys, stop sending so many soldiers. The entire Warsaw Pact is down here. Holy cow. Yeah, seriously, um, this is not good for supplies. I mean, over here we're doing very well. I mean, like, hmm, this is, I mean, this is not great and all, but still. Oh, ships. Oh, part of the fleets found us. That's not good. Okay, so they were severely undefended. Like, what is going on? I mean, they have a lot. They had a good amount of divisions, they just didn't guard their ports, and they lost all of their equipment in the wars in Persia, I guess, and especially here in Pakistan. I mean, look at that. Pakistan. What the heck, dudes? Guys. Right? I mean, Pakistan has got some... Never mind, they have nothing. I mean, I guess that 36... This is why infrastructure is so necessary. And yeah, we're taking a lot of losses. Actually, we've lost 300,000. That's not too bad, actually. Compared to their losses, especially India. I mean, Jesus Christ. I gotta play India sometime too. We'll see what happens. I mean, time is limited, like always. Time is always limited. I mean, I, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm thinking we're doing pretty darn well here. I mean, if you just all have to navally invade, you know what? We're gonna go to war with China. I'm probably gonna have to navally invade because while I would love to have a perfect army here, the Chinese looking kind of scary. The PRC, ooh, would not want to fight them in real life. But you know, you never know what could happen. Uh, do that, do that, do that, duplicate. No, actually, come on. There you go. There you go. Oh, uh, are we missing? Yes. Oh, wow. Why are we missing so much support equipment all of a sudden? Build up an even bigger industry. Boom, boom. Nope, I don't want your divisions. Alright, so Pakistan, Pakistan, oh, no, I guess technically, yes, Pakistan, but India should capitulate soon, too. They haven't lost that many divisions. They have still have up to 120, which is not bad for them. But, Jesus. All you have to do is invade India, and they just, like, say bye-bye. Also, if someone was, was also asking, like, how did I get the mod to work, uh, you want to get Red World, the fan fork version of this mod. Wait, hold on. Oh, Sri Lanka's... I, for some reason, I thought France owned it for some reason. Uh, wait. Oh, in this world, Korea's unified, huh? Yeah, that makes sense. Wow, Kim Jong-nam, he's looking extra thick in his cheeks. Is that a... I guess it's a coat. I, I thought it was a bathrobe to begin with. Alright, whatever. I mean, seriously, how did you run out of equipment... Why are you using this template, India? Because, like, the default templates... I mean, even... Look, look, look at Turkey. Their default templates. Uh, let's see. Artillery Regiment. It's literally artillery only with some support companies. Infantry templates. Like, AI. What the heck? I mean, that's not too bad. That's not too bad, but nine combat width? Two? Four combat width? Guys, oh, what the heck? I mean, don't get me wrong, I, if we have to fight skill 8 or 8 combat with infantry, not bad. 6. What are you going to do with 6 combat with? Oh, 
The Great Migration? Uh, okay. Uh, the new admirals arrive in Moscow. Not too long ago, the Kremlin issued an announcement today detailing naval policy. This document seems to imply that the government had lost faith in its old guard of admirals and explicitly called for certain eminent navy leaders to come to Moscow today. These admirals arrived a few hours ago, ready for their meeting with the military command and our leader to discuss possible higher positions within the navy. Great! Build some more dockyards. Constructing more dockyards will also expand the navy, which is exactly what I want us to do. Uh, where do we have... Oh, we need more support equipment. Uh, Iran, Pakistan. Ooh, Recon? Yes. Yeah, this is weird. Oh, this is a little glitched. These are all actually armored cars, but whatever. Okay! Well then. Alright, um... So, Iran, I, I, wish, I wish I showed you what I did off-screen with Iran. Just literally, just, but then again, I'm like, you know what? I'm literally just sitting here, letting them just kill themselves on my line, and then I counterattacked. So, there's nothing there. And then since subs, Pakistan, you saw that. India, you saw that. The Naxali Uprising Group. Um, that is a unique flag. Wow. Well, maybe not too unique. India. You can have all of India. There you go. I want Yugoslavia as a puppet. Thank you. Pakistan as a puppet. And Iran. I would really like to take them over, but... You know what? I've, I'm in the mood to puppet things, so... And it seems like that'd be more fitting for us to do, so. Alright. Um, actually, for this one. I think we'll do that. We'll probably have one massive line against these guys. Oh, well, then again, maybe not. Um, actually, Mongolia might be better to take out. Yeah, let's go to war with Mongolia instead. Council justification. Go to war with Mongolia and have one mammoth line against the Chinese. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Who Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh, they got a while. Actually, we can go to war with them. You know what? If we can be seen as the defenders of this group, so be it. So be it. But hey, not bad. Not bad. Uh, actually, this is not going to be good. Let, you can let time go on, though. So this up here should do okay. We shouldn't do. We might not do great. They're only 20 combat width. They do have anti tank, though, which is not bad. Uh, we need way more support equipment. How many APCs do we have? That's fine. Ooh, we only have 3,500. Each one uses so many APCs. I was thinking about making, making these guys 40 combat width. That, you know what, I think we have to do that. We gotta make our guys a little thicker. A little stronger, to say the least. That's gonna, oh my goodness, we're not gonna have enough for this at all, are we? Probably not, but we got a little, little bit of time. Uh, that's kids. I'm actually gonna reduce this, thank you. Uh, these guys, not looking too bad. Even at field hospitals. I was generous and gave them field hospitals. So if China wants to go to war with them, so be it. You guys, good luck. Infantry, well, maybe we can fight off Mongolia first and then have a mammoth border with those guys. Yeah, it's probably good to still go to war with these guys first. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. Hmm, supplies, hmm. Yeah, about that. Hmm. Planes, we're doing okay. Definitely okay. Not great, but okay. As much radar as possible. So this board is going to be pretty lightly defended. I don't want to send tanks up here, but I will if I have to. Because the fight between us and China is going to be mammoth. If they go to war with them first, I'm not going to do anything, because I still want that mammoth board with these guys. The PRC is going to have just butts of soldiers. So many... Thousands of bots of soldiers. Oh, are we suffering from attrition here already? Oh, good lord. No, that's not good. Um, there you go. We need that. How about over here? Yes. Cheetah and Amur. I should know that. Uh, I, I guess technically I don't, just because I haven't played these those countries in TNO. I base too much off TNO anyways. Uh, so how much are we out? Only 26,000 armored personnels. Well, that's not good, especially since we only have zero factories on them. Okay. Go back down to 15. Go to 15. And artillery is fine. Keep that on artillery. Yeah, that's not good. And let's grab one more thing of s uh, military factories. There we go. Okay, never mind. Two. Two. Let's go with two. That's not good. Hmm. Plane wise, how many planes do we have? Army 8. Well, we got enough manpower, which is nice. Logistics is pretty good. Oh, more fighters. That's good. Cool. Eh. 
and you guys go right there. And let's go ahead and... Oh, military police would not be bad. We're going to grab more entrenchment just in case. And you know what? I'm just going to continue doing stuff off screen maybe a little bit until we get to the war with Mongolia. But let's go ahead and first research uh, armor. We should focus on tanks at the moment. Uh, and I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright, so we aren't quite at war yet, but I thought this would be pretty important to bring up that Bernie Sanders is now dead in 2017. Well, if you'd like to read about that, I thought that would be pretty important for uh, people to read, but, you know, it is what it is, and... Man, he died sooner this time than in real life. Kind of wild. And Alaska is independent. Actually, they need to look at who's this. National People's Council versus these guys. Angela Davis is still doing her stuff. Uh... Dan, who the heck is Dan Sullivan? Oh, they're in their own little faction too. Uh, it doesn't have a unique focus tree, so I'm not too interested then. Uh, it is 2017, like I did say. Let's grab some more construction speed because we gotta build, build, build. Trying to get more roads, trying to get some more air bases, trying to get everything. I think going to war with Mongolia right now actually might be a bad idea. But we're gonna do it anyways because we can. Ulan Uda? Yeah, we're, and we're getting within a month of us actually going to war with uh, Mongolia, so we'll see what happens. Ulan Uda, huh? Ah, somewhere around here. Ah, here it is. Good. Irkutsk. I should know that this is Irkutsk. We've got armor done, which is nice. Uh, okay, come on, game. All right. So as you can tell, this video is a little bit shorter than normal, just because well, I'm recording this on Christmas Eve. So, all right. Next up, heavy armor focus. Let's go with Red Air Force. The Soviet Air Force needs improvements. Absolutely, my friends. Absolutely. And we don't have that many. Um, we don't have that much longer. Oh, what do they have? Factory output focus. Dam Denis Dembarel. Government knows best, alright, and we have literally a week left, so I figured, you know what, we might just stay together here and destroy them, hopefully. We'll see what happens, so. No guarantees, of course. No guarantees, and my goodness, the Red Army's looking. I can't even guard the entire border here. Like, this is nuts. But the Germans will, right? The Germans and the Democratic people of Afghanistan will, right? Actually, who's. Uh, let's go to war now so we can finish this up as fast as possible. Just because we gotta get some entrenchment and defensive positions for our guys here. Uh, Mongolia, that's quite a few, quite a bit of manpower actually, quite a bit. We have up to 29 divisions, not bad for them, not bad. And give our guys a little bit more, more experience as we're fighting, so. Because we're gonna need a lot. Uh, move faster. We gotta move, 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 move. Oh, he's a mountaineer too. Oh, look at all his, he's, all his medals. He's, got, he's like one of those Russian guys that has like all those medals on his shirt, or maybe like North Korean guys. Oh, I'm not ready for this war. Please don't go to war with these guys. Oh, we can, we can go to war with them whenever we want. They got about less than a month, so we gotta be ready. How many we lost? That's not bad, versus... That's not bad. I like the casualty ratio, but maybe that's just me. Pakistan, Hungary, Luxembourg, United Dutch Republics, Italy, Naxalite, so... Actually, 50, 77. France has quite a few. Germany has quite a few. Modern... Uh, processing of rubber. Very good, very good. Um, let's go ahead and grab maybe some of this. Maybe better radar. Better artillery. Yes, please. I love artillery. It is my favorite thing in Hoi 4. Artillery. Not really, no. I much prefer the raw breakthrough stats. And we probably lost a thousand by now. Still only 23. What is, we've killed off another 20,000 more soldiers, but haven't lost a single guy. Alright. Where's our capital? Come on, hurry up, hurry up. We don't have that much time left. Uh, 3D manufacturing is nice. Let's grab some Streamline Line, because I like Streamline Line. Okay, it's not looking too bad. We still have quite a bit of uh, problems around here in terms of supply. 40 combo with cost quite a bit. Uh, previous infrastructure is where? Gorno Altaisk. Is that up here? No, no, it's not. Gorno Altaisk. Oh, well, crap. That's not good. Wait, hold on. Gorno El... Oh, wait, hold... Oh. Oh, it's right here. This is a bottleneck. I was not expecting that one to be a bottleneck. But then again, it's lo only level 1 infrastructure, so... Um, Gorno... Gorno, there you are. That's what's hurting us. Yes, we will help them out soon enough. Oh, no, please don't. D why are you attacking? No, 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 no. Mm. Okay, so, in the Red Army, I don't expect that you'll be able to say no to movement. So, you better start moving your butts right now. Holy crap. 
grab some of that. We're not going to get in the water yet. Actually, with them focusing on India first, that'd be really, really good for us. Why are you attacking Germany? Why are you attacking the Chinese? <laughs> Let them attack us, come on. And why are these guys not dead yet? This doesn't make any sense. Ah, oh, they're close. Oh, we're losing a few more guys, this will be it, whatever. Improved things, very good. We're sending more rubber, but what else is new, you know? Come on, come on, move, move, move. Oh my goodness, you, you see how slowly we're moving here. Oh my goodness, it's so not bueno. But 100%, come on. We killed off basically roughly 100,000 of them. Good. Alright, so now we got to set up our infantry. And then pretty much commit death on ourselves. There we go. There you go. Good luck. We're going to get... Oh, they actually maxed out infrastructure for us already. That's actually really nice of them. Actually very nice. Alright, but I think we're going to end it there. I'm, I want to save China for the next episode as they are... Well, actually, they're pushing into Tibet. Our allies are. But regardless, hope you enjoyed this, well, normally shorter video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we'll take on the PRC, maybe Korea, and Japan. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.